This is a CBN special report covering the late-breaking clinical trials from EuroPCR in Barcelona, Spain. With me is Dr. Vasilis Babaleros, my colleague from Emory, who is actually in Barcelona covering the trials. Vasilis, today we have three major late-breaking trials covering percutaneous aortic valve replacement. We have the partner EU trial, we have the core valve 12-month follow-up, and then a little bit of a sidebar, but very interesting axillary approach for the core valve. Let's start with partner EU. What did they tell us? Peter, hello. Partner EU is uh, very similar to the uh, partner North American trial in that they're looking at the same type of high risk or non-operable patients, but it wasn't a randomized trial. It was a registry of about 131 patients of which half of which were implanted transfemorally and half of which were implanted, implanted transapically. The real big thing here is that one year, Peter, 78% of patients that were implanted transfemorally were alive, but only 50% of patients that were implanted by a transapical valve were alive. A lot of this was thought that these patients were sicker, so the STS scores between the two groups were very similar. They seem to have at baseline more comorbidity, more peripheral vascular disease, more previous cabbage, more carotid artery disease, and more renal failure. Now, does it look then very similar to the outcomes, what we hope will happen with a partner trial? I guess everyone is anticipating how that will turn out. What's your prediction? I think the transfemoral trial looks as good or better because when you compare it to classic risk scores that we have in our surgical literature, Certainly, it is better transfemorally. The transapical approach, however, because of all their comorbidities, will be a little bit of a slippier slope. Okay, well, let's move quickly to the core valve 12-month follow-up. Core valve, of course, being a little bit of a smaller device. What did they tell us? Core valve looked at about the same number of patients, 130, and these were patients implanted between 2006 and 2007, so a fairly recent registry. These patients were a little bit healthier, P Peter, compared to the patients that were implanted with the Edwards device. Their Euro score was about 23% as opposed to an STS score of 10%. You know, that would be closer to a Euro score of, of 30%. These patients had a high procedural success. Freedom from all-cause mortality was very similar, about 71% at one year. And, of course, all these patients are implanted transfemorally. Well, it sounds as though the transfemoral uh, implantation of percutaneous aortic valves is really going forward in Europe at a rapid clip. We'll just have to wait and see how the partner trial turns out in the United States. But let's move on to a thing sidebar, but not really so much of one, the core valve axillary implantation. How does that work? And how well does it work? Well, Peter, this has been something that's really been pushed at the meeting, is that for patients that don't have femoral access with the core valve, because there's not a transapical option, there's about 80 cases that have been reported using the left axillary artery uh, and is accessed by a surgeon using a cut down and showing a, a small graft on it and putting the sheath in from that way. Now, have the outcomes from those uh, trials been any different than the 12-month follow-up that we just talked about, or is it just as optimistic? I think as far as all-cause mortality, we only have 30 days here, and the all-cause mortality uh, was around um, 8%, which is very similar to the, to the other group that I mentioned at 30 days. What is interesting and what we should note is that the pacemaker requirement has been 25% from those implanted transfemorally and up to 37% of those that are implanted from an axillary approach. Well, it sounds as though that pacemaker issue is still an ongoing problem for core valve, but overall the percutaneous aortic valve implantations business seems to be going well in Europe, and we'll have to see how it turns out here. Thank you, Vasilis. I'm Peter Block, and this is a CBN special report.